you guys. This is just a quick little intro. You're going to want to stick with this one right to the end. All right, let's get on with it. Well, it's another windy morning and it's cool. And uh, we've been let out, we can go bush. It means I can finally get round to something I've been meaning to do for quite some time now. Good old Amiga 2000. This is going to be your last days. Now, if you're not familiar with the history behind this, um, I'm going to put some links below that uh, give you some history as to why I'm doing this. Basically, I want to demonstrate to trolls that your words have very real impact in this world. And that sometimes the things you're trolling about and your elitist behavior can end up destroying the very things that you love. So, we need to go and get ourselves some ammunition to go with this as well. But, quite some time ago, in the early days of starting this channel anyway, I'll give you a bit of history before I go that far. I've had more than one YouTube channel. In fact, I had a YouTube channel, well, not long after YouTube became a thing. It wasn't for profit, it was for enjoyment. And, uh, you know, just trying to share the antics and somewhere to put some of the videos that I got up to with my now late brother. And the trolls were nuts. You couldn't fart near the place without people just being condescending. And to be honest, there is one particular continent where a majority of those opinions come from. But I'm not gonna get into that right now. This is not about singling people out. Well, maybe one person, but you, you can check that out for yourself. So I pretty much axed that entire channel. It's still there, but nothing like it used to be. I had well over 100,000 subscribers I think I've got something like 50 on there now. They all pretty well jumped ship. Which is understandable considering all the content disappeared and nothing ever happened. Um, so now I'm building this new channel to try and leave a bit of legacy because I have multiple sclerosis. And um, yeah, I basically... I, I want to sort of enjoy life while I still have my mobility. And uh, also, eventually I will clean up this shed. It's somewhat cleaner. Anyway, somebody decided to uh, have a real go at me about this Amiga. Um, and I took a few shortcuts and a few less than normal, um, uh, I guess, procedures. Because I just simply, my primary objective was to get the data off it. For the bloke who is also now dead, I have lost probably a number of friends in short succession. And had to do data recovery. That's why I have a lot of this old hardware. So, in the middle of that, I get this comment basically berating me, saying I shouldn't be anywhere near, you know, a, an Amiga 2000, and just absolutely, like, by, by a bloke who is evidently an authority on Amiga 2000s. And, um, so yeah, that pretty much destroyed my entire interest in the project, and it was just to keep the legacy alive of somebody who I knew I was going to lose. You know, and it, it, it really kicked me in the gut. So I, I now, as a result of that, have zero interest in Amiga 2000s. In fact, it really sort of kicked me in the guts about the vintage computing stuff, which I used to really enjoy, and I just don't now. So I'm taking an exception to this one. This Amiga 2000 is a fairly rare one. And uh, because of all the extra mods and pieces, and this shelf up here is full of all the extra Amiga cards, including Mac emulator cards, RAM expansion boards, CA880 external floppies, proper modems, everything. I've got all of that, and I have loads of 880k floppies and original stuff. I'm going to put bullets in all of it. Because the trolls need to learn that if they're going to be trolls, they're going to reduce the number of valuable Amigas in the world. Because I'm just over it. And there are other contents in this safe, which will be the undoing of that Amiga. 
but we have to go to a shooting range at an undisclosed location it's take me a little while to get there so I would probably advise you stick with it to the end of this video because uh, there will be some important information right at the end anyhow let's go on with the job So, we're on site. Our Amiga is stuck up on a tree stump over there. This is a site that me and my late brother visited frequently. This is on some private property that we have permission for. And we are well away from people. And we know 100% that downrange there are no people. Safety is paramount. We have some ammunition, some 22, long, or 22 WMRs, some Magnums. Uh, 22 magnums, we have some 22 long rifles and we have some uh, 410 and yes I have my apprentice is doing some uh, commentary over there and we have a range of other stuff we have a shoot and see target which my apprentice is going to go stick on that target and uh, then we're going to unpack some of this stuff so uh, we'll see you in a minute alright apprentice do you want to stick one of these shoot and see targets on the case? yes yeah. these are big, big stickers these ones and they're really good. We'll open these up and you can go take one down there and put it on the case. And then we'll teach you some rifle safety. Well, I'm afraid of rifles. This is the idea, is to make you not so afraid and to understand what is safe to do with them. Take Alright, we're going to go downrange. The important thing is, there's only two of us here. We are both going downrange. You know why we go down together? That's because nobody is up the other end to shoot a gun at us. That means that nobody gets shot and that everybody knows where everybody is at exactly the same time. That's a safety thing. All right, let's go back up range and uh, do a bit of cleaning and preparation. Here's your net. Okay. All right, so it's time to unpack some stuff. A bit of an impromptu trip this time. And we have some more ammo. We go. A bit more of the older stuff we need to uh, check out before we go anywhere. It's a survival kit. We have a whole bunch of cameras and we have this. This is what we're going to start with. Now we want the bipod. Make it a little bit easier for younger hands. And this is our 22 rifle. Now, before we do this, see this orange bit? Apprentice, see this orange bit? That is a bore flag. That fits where the bullet would go, or the the ammunition. If that is in there, you know it can't be fired. Okay. So if I put this down, and I don't leave that orange flag in there, you tell me right away, okay? Because okay. that's a safety thing. All right. Got our bipod. We will clip this on. Uh, that way. No, that's the whole idea we're here, is to make sure nobody gets shot and to learn how to use these safely. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so the other thing we're going to do is pull out our 
Savage Model 24. This is a Remington Mod 587 that's been painted. This is a Savage Model 24. Um, this is a combination rifle. So this has a 22 Magnum on the top, 410 shot on the bottom. This is a 22 long rifle. And I will show you the difference between the two in a minute. So this is 22 Magnum, this is 22 long rifle in the red here. So there is definitely a difference between them. Now this is a break open action. We're going to we make doubly sure that that is empty. This one we are going to hook in like so. Going to put our foregrip on and put that together. I there we go. Alright, so we're going to start with some 22 longs and I need to clean these out when I'm done after all of this. Let's start with uh, some 22 subsonics. These are 42 grain subs. We have a 10 shot magazine here, which uh, I had to get from the USA and I had to bring it back personally. Um, and let me tell you now, that was a bit of an, a rigmarole. Well, this is a mixed box of ammo. There's some copper jacketed ones in here that'll be a bit noisier. Oh, that's because these are PowerPoints, not the long Zeds. You can pull five rounds out at a time in this and uh, tip them out to your hand. Now keep in mind that magazine is not a clip because a clip is what you use to load a magazine and often you use, in the case of something like a Mosin Nagant, a Russian rifle, um, you would use the clip to load the built-in magazine. All right, let's take our bore flag out. We double check, is our apprentice uprange? You're uprange? Yes? Yep. Okay, you're right here. Oh, that is popping out of the mag. Drop our magazine in, like so. Now, we're going to take a shot. shot That's the idea. We're in. Yep, see? Trigger control, how I teach you on the Nerf guns. Alright, let's take a shot. Okay, side. Yep. What? Now watch. It pops out. We'll pick them up before we go. You ready? Test target. It's pretty well on target. Alright, now we take our magazine out. We make sure it's empty. Reload. No, we're not reloading. We're putting our bore flag in because we'll do some actual shooting in a minute. Okay. So it's at this point, you probably find some solace in the fact that 
I did inadvertently stand on a nest of inch long bull ants and uh, got a bit stung and that's them right there and they already know I'm here and they're a little unhappy with me. Second bit of information that will probably give you a bit of solace. Now while the date of upload of this video is strictly not correct, it was uploaded a day or two beforehand. The day of release was the 1st of April. <laughs> And you'll probably notice that this is not an Amiga side. This is an old case that belonged to another also now deceased friend. Um, I took the good valuable bits out of it and his data. And that's one way to remove a heatsink, I guess. Um, but anyway, the Amiga 2000 is in better hands. And I'm not telling you who got it. But April Fool's. You all thought I was shooting this up, although I guess some of you probably would have been a bit dubious. It's happy April Fool's Day. <laughs> so, however, good news, I have a mate that's offered me in another Mega 2000. So, this could turn into a real shooting up in a Mega 2000 video. Depends how many trolls we get. Yep, that was the mean comments that did it. Now, I wasn't what I would call a lot of people. It was one particular person who presents himself as an authority in the Amiga community. And I'm pretty sure he's got a saved search. So anytime I put Amiga 2000 on something, he's straight on that video. Uh -huh. And the first time I announced that I was gonna do this right before COVID hit, he uh, he was really upset with me that I didn't, I didn't uh, give it over to somebody that would love it and look after it. But trolls do destroy things with your comments. So if I get another Amiga 2000, I'm going to really do this. Because it was Amiga 2000 fans that actually damaged my interest in Amiga 2000s. Now we need to clean up after ourselves here too. Because it is private property. Well, we do this anywhere we go. My apprentice has been spreading tissues everywhere. I need to pick up our spent shells. They're all hanging around here. Pick up all of this. So yeah, we used some 410s, some 22 Magnums. Somebody else has been here. We should probably come back with a big magnet and pick all those shot shells up. Because the magnets will pick up the steel end caps on them. And we'll do that. Now, pick them up in a bit. Now there is another target out here that is near the ant nest. I don't know if I'm going to get too close to that, to be honest. But we'll find out. They tend to be onto anything big. Real good. Yeah, that was a bit of a quick shot, and I was a little bit off-center with the shotty. So, uh, that was about 30 yards. Okay, my apprentice is howling. It's time to go home. So summary for this video, don't give me negative comments about these things. You can be constructive if you want to give some input onto what I'm doing. You don't have to be a dick and you don't have to be a troll. But if you are, I'm going to end up destroying the things that you guys are picking on me about. Because I can't deal with that. I've got too much other stuff to be doing and I've got too many other problems. I've got multiple sclerosis so I'm trying to be happy here. And if you guys mean that I'm happy by blowing holes in an Amiga 2000 rather than fixing it up and bringing it back to its former glory, then that's what I'm going to do. What makes the difference is whether you guys make it fun for me or not. I'll see you in the next video, and the next one hopefully won't be April 1st.